Hi, and welcome back to the M&M Podcast. I'm Maddie. I'm Natalie. And I'm Matty. With our guest, Forever, uh, Etta. Yeah. Hi. Forever? Yeah, oh, Forever. I'm going to leave. <laughs> yeah. This, You're our guest forever. This is episode one. I don't know why I said welcome back. I meant welcome to. Yeah. It's fun. it's official now. It's official, guys. We're really we're really doing this. We're really here. If you actually listen to our podcast on Natalie's phone, <laughs> you would know that we weren't exactly <laughs> official. Yeah. Yeah. It's been rough. <laughs> but so today we're gonna start off with introducing ourselves. Yeah. So Maddie, you wanna go first? Yeah, we're gonna start out in uh, in the order that I said our names. Um, I'm Maddie. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm. Maddie, I am 15, <laughs> I'm a freshman at a school, and I, yes, a school, I don't know, disclosed information, I have two dogs, a cat, I play the violin and saxophone, and I like to vibe, honestly. Took my answer, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what you were gonna, I didn't know you were gonna say that. Okay. I said it last time. <laughs> Rip. This oh. is the first one. <laughs> Natalie, your turn. Okay, okay. So my name's Natalie. I'm 14. I'm a freshman. I'm three days older than the younger Maddie. Because she's, ba- <laughs> she's the little baby of the group. But um, <laughs> I'm, I'm a blonde, so I'm not really good at common sense. Oopsie. And I like to hang out with friends a lot and just... You like to just vibe. I like to vibe. That's all I do. I thought you were going to say you like to judge. Oh. <laughs> and hoodies are my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Wow. Yeah. Because okay. I'm wearing one right now. Oh, for me? Um, my name's Maddie. She's right. I am the youngest of the group. I'm an all-star cheerleader. Whoa. I'm in band, ninth grade too. You know, I don't really do much. Like, I, I have fun sometimes if I'm not studying. Boring. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay. I'm a little boring. And also, uh, there's a difference between our names. Mine's M-A-D-D-Y, Madeline. Oh, my Yours name's is- M-A-T-I, and it means die in Indonesian. Wow, okay. And your <laughs> name is Mattison. <laughs> okay, let's introduce talk- Hedda. <laughs> Go, Hedda. I mean, introducing... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my microphone is, like, weird. But is yours, like, falling too? Yeah, just, no, just let it No, it's not fall. falling, but it's, like, weird sound. Um, yeah, my name is Hedda. Mm, the special thing about me is I'm from Norway. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, five million Fancy. other people. Um, clap, 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 clap. Yeah. I'm from Norway. I'm 17 years old. 18 very soon. On Monday. Yes. Ooh. On Monday. Um, Happy birthday, Hedda. Early birthday. <laughs> That's not my birthday. <laughs> um, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's. Yes, happy Valentine's Day, ladies and gentlemen. Your first and Valentine's any other Day in America. Yes. <gasps> oh, how's it going? It, it has been a great day. I love Valentine's Day. Uh, yeah, it's pretty great. <laughs> so, Maddie. What? You're the only one here with a significant other. Yeah, that didn't show up today. <laughs> Are you serious? He's not yeah, here. He's not here today. We're going to beat him up. <laughs> no, no, I well, like, okay, I'm sorry that there's tons of rain, and he can't get out. Does he live in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, basically. Where does he live? <laughs> oh, my weird. gosh. It's like, I'm not going to say. Oh, yeah, we're on podcast. Yeah, that's... <laughs> we don't give out information like that. But, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a special someone... Make sure to wish them a happy Valentine's Day. Yes. Get them something special. Like a bear... Yeah, have oh, you guys gotten any gifts today? Yes, I got oh, one. Actually, yes, yeah. I have. I got one for my friend Chloe. I got Sour Patch Kids and Gummy Bears. My dad woke me up at 6.30 this morning, gave me a stuffed dog, Sour Patch Kids, and Kit Kats. And then Nicole found me and gave me a little chocolate heart. 6.30 in the morning. Oh. Yeah, I was woken up at 5 a.m. for school that starts at 10 a.m. Why? My mom thought it was going to snow. And so she was like, oh, yeah, it's going to snow, and I don't want to be caught in it, so we're just going to go in early to work. So I sat in her office for two hours. Two to... I usually wake up at five on school days, but (laughs) no one was a two-hour delay. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Then I didn't wake up at five. I was just, like, waiting for them to cancel school, but then they never did. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I was so mad. And... It's (laughs) It's <laughs> oh, sorry. it's kind of a 
pointless day today. I mean, okay. It really We had is. a shield day, a one-hour lunch. No, we didn't, a, ha- we didn't have a one-hour lunch. We didn't lunch. have a one-hour. I thought we had a one-hour lunch. No, it was supposed to, but then they canceled it. Yeah, but, like, okay, so this is what was supposed to happen today instead of a two-hour delay. Shield day and a one-hour lunch, right? Uh, and then we had a two-hour delay, and that just that messed up canceled. the whole thing. And so... Now we have 30-minute class. We have 30 minutes. <laughs> there's no... Po- I'm, I'm serious. Like, there's no point to today. And it, I had a bad morning, so... Me too, honestly. No, I had a good morning. I got up at 8, took a shower, you know, yeah. did the I straightened stuff. my hair this morning... Wow. I'm proud of that. But Valentine's Day, I think Valentine's Day is cute because, like, I like all the Snapchat filters that have little hearts and whatnot. Oh. I know. You know the Snapchat filter, according to Snapchat, I'm getting engaged today. Oh, oh. really? Wow. Who's proposed? And no one yet. Oh, yet. <laughs> so I'm wa- still waiting. It said, congratulations. You're getting engaged today. Wow. Aww. Cute. So I'm waiting. So <laughs> well, <laughs> watch no one has proposed yet. <laughs> watch it be like your host family, like the little brothers of your host family. What? <laughs> <laughs> they would just like like propose to you. I uh, that would be a little weird considering they're my brothers, but <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But what do you like about Valentine's Day, Hedda? I like my favorite thing in the world is love. <laughs> Aww. I think that's adorable. Okay, <laughs> I'm just saying, I think that's adorable. But it is. It is the most important thing. Nothing is more important than love. And it actually is. So to have a day for it where you can appreciate, I, I can't see, uh, not only like your loved person, but your loved ones. What is wrong? There's like stuff all over my hand, and I don't know. Where it's from. You should probably wipe it off. I d- uh, d- no, duh. Then do it. Okay, so what's your all's favorite Valentine's Day candy? Like, not just the regular candy, like the hardcore Valentine's Day. Um, I like chocolate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, okay, not, like, I don't know. You know those heart boxes that come filled with chocolate? Yeah. Don't give me that. Get me straight up. Chocolate. I just milk chocolate. That's all I need in the world. I just need milk chocolate. I like um chocolate chip cookies that my great great grandma makes. I like Scooby Doo gummies. Ooh, I like those. The blue ones. The blue ones. The yes, blue ones. the blue ones. Yes. Oh my gosh. Does I he just... not have Scooby Doo gummies? <gasps> I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Hedda, have you ever had Scooby Doo gummies? We have to find them. The blue ones are the best. Yes. You have not experienced America until you experience Scooby-Doo gummies, especially the blue ones. Ooh, or Push Pops. Or Push Pops. Push Pops. Push Pops. Uh, how do you write root? Rude? R- R-U-D-E. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so What's Hedda, you- are you excited for your birthday in America? Both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited and anxious. Or not anxious, but nervous. No. no. Wait, I have another question. What is your least favorite Valentine's Day candy? Peanut butter. Anything peanut butter. Peanut butter is the devil. Oh, I thought you meant just like a peanut butter, a jar of peanut butter. And I was like, um, <laughs> I've never seen someone getting get the, gifted that, but the, okay. Girl, peanut I butter's really, the devil. I really, I really don't like the sweetheart. Neither do I. How about you, Hedda? I don't know what is Valentine's candy or not. Oh, basically anything that is heart shaped and comes out this time of year. Like you won't see it any other time. Had those heart gummies? I just think they're the worst. No, I have not. They're like bitter. I don't know, but I'm thinking of like this gummy, and it's like shaped like a heart, but whenever you like bite it, it's like really bitter. I have not. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I don't know. Oh. Oh. I heard that. Yeah, um, so it was kind of loud. Anybody have any plans tonight? No, ma'am. <laughs> I do. <laughs> what do you do? I do. Um, me and oh, me and Lena are going to watch uh, to all the bullies. I love Peter. <gasps> they love you. Oh, oh, oh I, wa- I watch that. The books, the books, the books are so great. I watch that. Is the movie good? I don't know. I've the never books. seen it. To all the boys I loved before, P.S. I still love you, always and forever, Lara Jean. Lara Jean? Okay, Lara Jean, I just didn't, I liked the movie, I didn't like her name. 
I didn't like Lara. Blair Jean. But the books. LJ. They that was fine. The movies. Was the fine. movies did not capture everything <laughs> in that book. Which one? The first or second? They rarely well, do. The second book was great. Third book was a little rough, but first book was good. Second book just made everything much better. I mean, movies rarely capture the whole book. Yeah, you're right. I know. If you read a book first and you read a movie, you're always disappointed. Yes, always. But you're always going to be because your imagination makes yeah what you want yeah so like you'll picture one of the char- one of the characters like a certain way and then as soon as you see it like movie and you're and just movie. like huh, no you don't look like that yeah same thing with their attitudes because like the movie doesn't really portray like what you saw like what yeah. you felt in the book and you're just kind of like oh yeah because you picture that how you wanted you know like mm-hmm. josh i don't know his last name but you know who I'm talking about from the first movie, Josh. Yeah, the they, older the, sister's boyfriend. Yes, the book made him a lot more sweet than what he would portray it as. Well, in the movie, he wasn't really, he didn't really do a whole lot. In the book, he played such an important role to the whole story. Yeah, in the movie, he didn't really play. But an it's important really role. weird to be in love with your sister's boyfriend. Well, yeah, they were right. broken up. Still <laughs> weird. It's still weird. Yeah, it's still weird. You're like, oh, I would never date my sister's ex boyfriend. Yeah, because <laughs> maybe you look like your sister. That's a little. That's a little maybe crazy. he has a type. Oh. No, but like, how many times do you think he'd get their names mixed up? Oh. <laughs> 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 what if someone says your sister's name talking to you about like loving things? Like, oh. Uh. I would have freaked out. I would slap them. And that would probably, like, I have four sisters. No, three sisters. We're four girls in the same house at the same age. Oof. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Overwhelming <laughs> sometimes. That must have been hard. But I, I love it and dislike it at the same time. <laughs> it has it, its positives and, it neg- and its negatives, but four girls, the same age, the same height. House. house? <laughs> yes, house. Okay. Well, I think we should probably wrap up. Wait, I have one. I, uh, okay. You know, okay. My, my, you know <laughs> 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 Can I make a sentence? Okay. Yeah, go for <clears> it. <throat> um, I think the most adorable thing is on Valentine's Day, um, my dad always sends my mom a bouquet of roses, like red Aww. roses, every Valentine's Day. And he sends it to her work. And I think it's adorable. Like, she can expect that. And she loves them. She puts them up our, in our house. And one thing I don't understand is she dries them out, like, lets them die, and then throws them away. I don't understand <laughs> that. I could see, like, pressing them in, like, a book. But I just don't understand that part. But I think it's really cool. Okay. Thanks for listening to our first official podcast. And um, hopefully you enjoyed. See you next week. Bye. Bye.